this is Moshe the Electric Israeli and thank you for joining. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're new and help me change the world one electric car at a time. We have some breaking news. It was rumored and now it's come through. It's great. It's awesome. Tesla is amazing and Tesla is increasing range on literally all of their cars. Uh, the most interesting one is the Model 3. The Model Y also is getting a little bit of a, a range boost. Uh, but let's quickly, let's do the Model S and Model X and then we'll focus on the Model 3, which is so interesting. A lot of things are happening. So the Model S already had a 402 miles for the uh, dual motor, obviously. And then the um, the performance model is, is going up to 387. And of course, uh, the Plaid model is coming next year, 520 plus miles, but that's next year. So that's great. The Model X, huge, huge car, man. How did they do it? Uh, 371 miles. Uh, and then for the performance model, uh, they're gonna have 341. Quickly, the Model Y, because I wanna focus on the Model 3, the Model Y is getting 326 uh, rated range up from 316 like my Model Y has 316 this is 326 that's great I'm gonna go back to the Model Y because there's something interesting I wonder but let's talk about the Model 3 the Model 3 getting a whole bunch of uh, updates and refresh so let's talk about the most important thing which is obviously the range and the uh, long range model uh, is getting three uh, 353 miles that is that is big time increase from the 322 miles that's not small potatoes uh, the uh, standard range plus uh, is going to get 263 miles that is uh, fantastic now let's take, take a look at the refresh because it's very interesting two things there are very interesting uh, first of all the well the the spoken uh, uh, center council, the glossy piano that everybody hates, I don't mind it, is going to be now this uh, sliding door and uh, there's going to be a spot for the uh, wireless charging without the cover on top. I like the cover on top, but it's going to be without the cover on top, so it's not going to be no more that glossy uh, piano black, whatever. Uh, even though the Model Y for now is going to maintain that, that uh, style. The next one, and that is, I'm not sure, it's rumored, but we'll see what happens. Uh, will it, uh, that the glove compartment, the glove compartment will have a USB so that you can put your uh, a, a sensory mode a hard drive in there. So if somebody, God forbid, uh, break into your car and they know what they're looking for, uh, they will have to really destroy the, uh, the uh, uh, glove box in order for them to get that. So that'd be a great place to put it secure doesn't rattle it's great I like that a glass roof a complete glass roof just like in the Model Y without the bar that's fantastic I really like it on my Model Y I really really do and the one thing that I love about the Model Y more than anything else is the power gate the power lift gate and the Model uh, 3 is going to get it the Model 3 is going to get it and that is fantastic what a great up update is that couple more things the, the the wheels so the uh, 18 inch uh, arrow, uh, arrow wheels are gonna look a little bit different much nicer I think and that's probably is going to contribute a little bit more to the um, to the range now uh, this range increase this is from 322 to uh, what did I say 353 that's a big time uh, increase uh, so what gives is, is it just the software update for example my car my model 3 that i'm driving right now uh, used to have when i bought it it used to have 310 miles and then through software upgrade it went up to uh 325 but this is a, a big time increase to uh a 353 so what happened uh i think oh by the way i forgot to mention the chrome delete thank god uh, all the frames gonna be uh, the chrome delete, the black, it's nice. Let's go back to range. So what happened? I think two things are, are happening. Whether a Panasonic is improving their battery chemistry and thus you have new uh, 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 range, upgraded range, great. Or is Tesla already using their uh, new batteries? 
uh, that they talked about in battery days. Is that what they're going to do? Uh, are they producing a lot of them in Freeman already that they're going to put it in the new model uh, threes? I doubt it, but it's possible. Or, and I didn't see that announced, or is Tesla going to put uh, the heat pump, the heat pump inside the uh, uh, Tesla Model 3 now? If that is the case, if that is the case, then that will make sense. That will make a lot of sense because I told you, I made a video uh, before uh, a couple of days uh, ago about the effect of uh, the heat pump. And I predicted 20% range increase. And, I, and even though this looks like a 10% range increase, uh, I, 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 I am telling you, don't be surprised on a 20% range increase, but here's, here's my caveat, 20% increase in real world range. So when it says 253 miles, 353 miles, that doesn't mean you're gonna get 353 miles. You're gonna get less, much less. But with the heat pump, that will make sense. Now, the new batteries, of course, that, that's a game changer. But I have a feeling that it's about the heat pump. Uh, I, I didn't see that announced yet, but if that is the case, I totally believe these numbers. Last, uh, last but not least, I, 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 it's interesting. Will Tesla uh, send a uh, push uh, um, software up, upgrade to Tesla Model Y and Tesla Model 3 owners right now to get this range boost. Now I can see that happening on the Tesla Model Y because Tesla Model Y does have the heat pump is uh, and, and, and pushing down a software upgrade for 10 miles, very easy. My, my car uh, got it, like I told you, back in 2018. So that's nothing new, that is possible. As far as the Model 3 is concerned, will Tesla owners like I am of Tesla Model 3 get this much uh, uh, range uh, that's a 20, 28 more miles to software upgrade without the heat pump in, in the existing car. I don't believe that, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. I will not run. I will not run anything by a, a Tesla. I will not say that Tesla is not capable of doing. They're capable of doing everything. So that's great. That's exciting news. I'm very, very happy to hear that. It's awesome. Tesla is continue to take the lead. To not to take the lead. To keep the lead and actually making it wider and wider over everybody else and that's awesome let me know your thoughts below thank you guys for watching see you tomorrow